NS dictionary, similar to NS array, contain objects and have multiple counterparts. However, they store information differently. NS dictionaries store information in key value pairs. What does this mean? Well, an easy analogy would be a Rolodex, where someone's name is the key and the phone number is the value. With a dictionary, one can look up a value by simply entering a key. It is important to note that no two keys in an NS dictionary can be the same. Just to show you how they look, let's initialize an, an NS mutable dictionary and set some key value pairs. In order to show you how NS mutable dictionaries work, I'm going to go into the Out of This World Xcode project in the OW Outer Space Table View Controller inside of the view did load method. Now let's go ahead and create our NS mutable dictionary. Notice the autofill or autocomplete. And we can go ahead and give this a variable name, so we can call this my dictionary. And let's allocate some space and initialize the object. And I'm going to create one variable here, and we're going to call this first color. And we can set this equal to the string red. So let's start setting up some key value pairs. Well, I'm going to go ahead and type my dictionary, set object. And notice that we're going to use the first option here, set object for key. We can press return. And we need to insert an object here. So we're going to insert first color. And we need a key name. So let's call this fire truck color. We can also create NS strings using our literal syntax at quote with whatever characters inside we want directly in the set object. So we can say my dictionary set object and we can just type in blue and we'll use the key name ocean color. We can also do this for a star color and we'll say star, ah, we need to do the color first, so we'll say yellow and we'll set this for key star color. And I'm going to add a space to ocean color as well. So now let's go ahead and let's NS log our dictionary so that we can take a look at what our dictionary looks like in our console. So let's go ahead and notice that I'm using percent at sign which accepts any object and I'm passing the variable name my dictionary. I can run my application and we see that we have curly braces instead of parentheses that we've been used to with our arrays and we see here that we have three elements inside of our NS dictionary. Notice that they each end in semicolons because this is not an ordered list. The only way we can access the elements in our dictionary is by keying into them. And we'll show you how to do that in a second. But we first here see that fire truck color is now equal to red and ocean color is now equal to blue and star color is equal to yellow, which is the key value pairs that we set up. So let, how do we get red or blue or yellow out of our dictionary. Well we can go ahead and there's a method called uh, object for key so we can say my dictionary object for key and we can say ocean color and what this will do is it will return the object that we set for the key named ocean color so it's going to return the string named blue so we can set this equal to on a string blue string is equal to my dictionary object for key ocean color and we can print out our return string so we can do blue string and I can go ahead and run this and now we'll be able to see in our console that blue prints out so we've learned that we can set key value pairs in our NS dictionary assuming it's mutable there's also a non-mutable version just like we have mutable arrays and non-mutable arrays a non-mutable dictionary would not allow us to add objects the way we've done here, which is setting key value pairs. And we're also able to access objects in our dictionary using the method object for key. And it will return the object that we set up as our object if we give it the correct key name.